Hunt Showdown has never quite felt like an extraction shooter to me, and I can never put my finger on why. I mean, the game has extraction points and high stakes. Did I just get over gear fear? Are the matches too short? Does every player sharing the same objective make the game feel too arcadey? But I think I finally figured it out. Extracting without a bounty token does not feel like a win. I think the best way to understand this is to look at Tarkov, where getting out of a raid alive feels like a victory, even if you didn't complete all the tasks you wanted to do. Why is that? Well, I think it comes down to one thing. Stakes. In both Tarkov and Hunt Showdown, when you die, you lose all of your gear. This is something that both games share. However, in Hunt, getting your gear back is much more streamlined. You can save loadouts and purchase loadouts with the press of a button. The trait system, as well, is very streamlined. You can buy new traits by simply double-clicking on them. However, in Tarkov, the process of gearing up before a raid is much more tedious. You have a stash that you have to play Tetris to organize, and gun builds that have to be manually assembled part for part. If you want to get into saving loadouts and stuff, you have to upgrade this specific part of your hideout, and you get the point. Because of how much more effort it takes to gear up for a raid, the perceived value of those items increases. If it took you five minutes to shop around and buy all of the parts for that AK build, that's five more minutes of time that you're invested into the loadout that you're bringing in. And I think here lies the issue. The extraction shooter genre's defining characteristic isn't necessarily just having extraction points. If you added extracting into a game like Counter-Strike at the end of every round, that would be stupid. It wouldn't meaningfully change the genre of the game. Extraction Shooter's defining characteristic is the tension that the game creates through stakes. Normally, this comes from losing all of the gear you brought with you when you die. However, if the gear is easy to get back, both in time investment and in-game currency, the tension related to death is lower. In Hunt, the in-game currency, Hunt Dollars, are plentiful. They're everywhere! The time it takes you to re-gear is typically lower than a minute. The game will also give you an infinite amount of completely viable loadouts most of the time. Therefore, the perceived tension related to death is much lower than in a game like Tarkov. Is this a bad thing for Hunt? No, I don't think so. I still enjoy the game. If anything, the more laid-back stakes leaves even more room for experimenting with different loadouts and playstyles, which is where I think the game excels. 